Hey there, it's Kathy Heath, and I'd like to talk with you just a little bit about one of the key concepts that every home and small business owner needs to be aware of. I call it, you won't hit the bullseye if you don't know where your target is. Ask any business owner to list their top priorities, and no doubt things like more customers and leads and things like that will be right near the top. You know, more traffic to your website, more people walking through the door of your store. There's one critical concept that you must realize in order to move your business forward. Whether you're brand new and just starting your business or whether you've been around for a while, you have to know who your target market is. This is key because if we don't know who they are, we can't know where they are or what they want and need. I know. I've heard it a hundred times, but everybody is a potential customer as long as they can fog a mirror. But you know, that's just not true. There are certain things that your products do and do not do that attract certain people. For example, you may work with a company that has a weight loss product, somebody who's very thin and fit is not likely to be attracted to it. Perhaps you're marketing for a hardware store that features specials for do-it-yourselfers, you know, like a, a tool of the month or something like that. You wouldn't expect many customers to be coming from the high-rise retirement condos, now would you? You get my point. You're looking for a message to market match. One of the best things you can do for yourself and your business is to sit down with a pencil and paper and write down exactly what benefits your product or service has and ask yourself, who do they apply to, man or woman? How old are they? What are they looking for? What are they thinking about? What's their income level? What are they interested in? Do they like to read or are they the outdoor active type? What kinds of problems are they having? Get your description as close to being an actual person as you possibly can. You may even want to give this person a name. What you're actually doing is creating an avatar of your ideal prospect. The reason it's so critical to know who your market is specifically is so that you can know where to find them. This is key. For example, if your market is made up of women over the age of 50, the chance of finding them hanging around a forum for skateboarders is not very good. And you more than likely won't find many ideal customers for your baby products at an auto parts store. Perhaps the best example I've heard on this topic was from marketing expert and trainer, Diane Hockman. She equates it to trying to find a relative you've never met, she calls him Uncle Harry, at a major airport without knowing the terminal, the airline, or his flight number, and just running around yelling his name everywhere trying to find him. When you know who your target market is, not only do you know where they hang out and what they're thinking, you speak their language. You know what they lay in bed awake worrying about at night, what they're typing into Google at 3 a.m., and you can speak right into them. I think it was Randy Gage who suggested we enter the conversation that they're having in their head. It's then that they'll respond to you. Take some time to actually flesh out this person or people and get to know exactly who your target market is. Once you know who you're talking to, it's much easier to have a conversation. And please note, 
if you have more than one product or service that you're interested in marketing, you'll likely have more than one target market and need to flesh out more than one person. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at kathy at kathyheath.com for the quickest response.